guys expecting maybe somebody a little bit bigger, a little more tattoos, biker rings, a little less hair on top, maybe Fu Manchu mustache? Ah, not today, you get truck and biker, bitches! Ah, now, let's roll that intro, and remember, let's try not to be assholes to each other. Before we get started, huge shout out to uh, John uh, Truck and Biker. Truck and Biker. Tr truck and Biker. Um, I hit him up and said, hey, uh, I need you to do this intro for me and uh, say this and say that. He's like, okay, I'm gonna put my own spin on it. I said, yeah, I need it in a couple days. He said, yeah, no problem. And just sent it to me and said, hey bro, here's your intro. Go check out Truck and Biker. He's the king of the driveway live. Check him out on Instagram. And uh, tell him Big Smitty sent you a hey, big shout out. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, real quick this week, um, I had video footage shot of going to Noah's Ark with George. Um, I had a little B-roll shot from my phone that looked like this. George on the Bluebird this morning, going to Noah's Ark. I call that back to Bluebird because that back flies. And then everything on my GoPro, I didn't get. So... What I talked about in the helmet, I'm gonna talk about real quick right here. Um, first of all, everybody's talking about the CVOs. Um, I commented on several people that made really good videos about the CVOs, and I'll say it here. Uh, riding in the Ozarks always does a good video, but Robert Simmons, um, who does a lot of instructional ride videos, you know who Robert Simmons is, he's Pay It Forward, and John from Cycle Fanatics. They were actually in the Harley Davidson uh, like their little video package. That was those two guys riding, which I thought was pretty damn cool. Um, I'm not gonna talk a lot about CVOs. Uh, I think that is a topic that has been beaten to death. Here's what I will say. I said before that Indian had the best uh, electronics and the best uh, features, like with their touch screen and they're being able to adjust the uh, shocks, all that good stuff, and, and, and just the things that Indian has. I think Harley took a step closer to that with the bigger screen with the options on the screen, uh, the fact that it's water cooled. I like my gold wing because it's water cooled. Um, them doing that to me, stepped the game up. The fact that they made it where you can adjust your shocks, they actually have a knob that you can reach out and adjust. I thought that was badass. Um, the, the lights, the turn signals, the LED lighting on the CVO Road Glide and Street Glide look absolutely amazing to me. I think they did great on that. Now, I understand that the the CVO that came out before the red one with a badass paint job um, is like 54,000. These CVOs for the gray one, it's 42, and I think it's like 48 for the nice paint job. Um, that's expensive as hell. And don't get me wrong, if you go get a stepped up pursuit, like an Indian pursuit, the top of the line one I think sets at 39 or 40, okay, that's not that far off. Um, I, that's, I don't know. Still to me, 42 still kind of puts you, in my opinion, 42 to 48 puts you out of working man's being able, being able to afford it. Uh, the gold wing cost me 23.9 or 23 um, before I traded in my Valkyrie on it. So I don't know. I'm just gonna be honest with you. 42,000 is very expensive to me, but kudos to Harley for listening to people. We've all bitched and bitched and bitched and pissed and moaned. The Harley doesn't listen, Harley doesn't care, Harley doesn't listen. They did listen. Now they put in a CVO platform, but they listened. Whether you like it or not, Harley Davidson listened to the people. And man, I gotta tell you, uh, kudos to Harley. Now, as you saw from the thumbnail, my second subject, rallies being canceled. Um, two rallies were canceled in New Mexico because of what happened at the Red River Rally. Um, I never say club names, I don't do that. I'm not gonna talk about the clubs involved, but I'm gonna say this, get ready because uh, I think there's gonna be more rallies that are going to either shut down and not happen, or I think there's gonna be rallies uh, that are going to uh, have no colors. No colors is a bad deal to me. I feel strongly that uh, saying no colors or you can't have your colors when you come in, um, Man, I think that's bad. I know that Professional Monkeys talked about it and no colors in certain spots uh, and the club that show might be named that, that he's involved in, that uh, he's talked about not being able to wear his cut certain places and his colors. And I, and I understand, I get that. 
Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know what it's going to be like here in Texas. Um, I, I don't think they would shut down the Lone Star Rally. Anything's possible. But uh, anyhow, I, I think the rally's being shut down. Here's where it's bad. Here's where it's bad. You have vendors that work their asses off to get uh, to these rallies, to have the opportunity to go to these rallies. That's how they make their money. They go to different rallies, make their money, set up their booths, and that's how they do it. The rally season is how they pay for what they do all year. Um, I talked to a couple of vendors. I need you. What's wrong? All right, so I try to be authentic on this channel, and I'm not gonna edit that out. A moment ago, my wife ran in, yelling, I need you, something's happened to the dog. Long story short, we had a big limb that fell out of a tree in our backyard during a storm, a real bad storm we had the other night. So I picked it up, put it, my son and I put it beside the house, about 12 foot long. My dog was running and got a piece of the, one of the sticks stuck in the, in between the like pad, the webs of her paw. And it was, she was bleeding everywhere. And the dog is yelping. I had to go get a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out. And we got her cleaned up and peroxided up and we decided if we're gonna take her to the vet tomorrow night. That's what you saw my wife ran in. So a lot of YouTubers, we edit shit out. I'm gonna leave that in to show you what happened during my third try shooting this video. Cause I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just gonna leave it in. I was talking about vendors. There are vendors who travel around the country and go to different rallies and that's how they make their living. Uh, some of them have jobs and they have shops wherever they live or they are part of a business. But there's some of them that just go to rallies all year long, that's how they make their money. So shutting down a rally and these rallies being shut down, it's hard for them. That's how they make a living. But there's people who chase rallies, jewelry people, uh, people who do work on bikes. There's people that have shops that just go to rallies and they put tires and do oil changes, do all those things during rallies when people travel. Having rallies get shut down is a bad thing. I hope for the sake of everybody out there, um, whether you wear a patch or you don't, that things will get straightened up with folks because we don't need to have any more incidents. We don't need to be a negative light on the motorcycle community or the club community. Again, I'm not in a club, but man, I'm hoping clubs can get shit figured out and we can get some of this stuff to stop because the last thing we need is more rally shut down. That's my opinion. Hey, y'all do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications when the shit show gets rolling again. Um, just quick talk about the CBOs. I'm not an expert. Uh, I just gave you what other people have said about them, uh, what I thought about them. I think they're nice. I think Harley did all the things we asked them to do. Uh, I wish they were priced a little lower. I wish they had like a, a lower end option, which I think maybe they will eventually with that VVT technology and the liquid cooled and those things. I think that'll come into a 114 to 117 and baggers to start off with like they always do. And uh, Hopefully that'll give people an opportunity that, that can't afford 42 or 46 or $48,000 to be able to buy this bikes and get that same technology. As far as the rally thing, hope rallies keep going. Um, rallies are fun. I enjoy going to rallies. Uh, again, there's people who make a living off the rallies that really need them. So hopefully where you're at, rallies keep going. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Didn't put out a video last week, video this week. Like I said, got shot all this shit. Tried to film it three different times, camera broke. Yeah, whatever, here we are. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the numbers going up. Thank you for all the people who've kept me alive and kept me going here. So I wanna see you guys. Well, let's have a great day. Let's try not to be assholes to each other. And I'll see y'all next time. With friends like you who needs enemies. You're not the one you pretend to be. I always thought we were family Now we're only enemies Enemies Yeah, with friends like you Who needs enemies A two-faced bitch Ain't no friend of me